Hey guys, in this video, I'm trying to explain how we can move a light sail uh, instance to Amazon uh, EC2 instance. So there is no direct option. So if you observe, like whenever you're opening this light sail, so it is going to take you to a different uh, console. And there we have, uh, like if you want to take a backup, we have a backup options here. If you want to create a hosted zone and all, we can create a static IP and all here. So, but somehow I really don't want to go with this light sale option. So I completely want to uh, move this website to EC2. So, so let's assume you want to uh, perform more customizations or uh, you decided to uh, move this uh, instance. So in that case, there is no direct option. So first thing, you need to take a backup of uh, this light sale instance. So then you need to, um, move that uh, snapshot, the backup copy of this light sale instance to you know, Amazon EC2. So there we need to launch an EC2 instance. Then we are going to get that website. So in our previous video, I've demonstrated and this is my uh, website. So now to move this to EC2, so first thing, let's uh, click on manage this and uh, just navigate to Snapshot option. So snapshot is nothing but backup copy of our uh, instance. So here is an option, create snapshot. Click on create snapshot. What is the name you want to give? So WordPress backup snapshot. Just click on create. So now automatically one uh, backup copy is going to create here. So once this backup copy is created, so then only you can move this snapshot to EC2 in the same region. So in light sale at moment, I'm working in Mumbai region. So how we can say that? So whenever you are on a home dashboard, so whenever you are creating any resource also, like it will ask us in what region you want to create. So we are creating this, re uh, this light sale instance in Mumbai region. Or you can simply observe uh, like uh, uh, that, uh, here. So this is, uh, running in Mumbai uh, region. So now they, let's observe the status of that snapshot. So here is a snapshot. So it is uh, snapshotting. And you can even enable automated snapshots also periodically it is going to create snapshots. So once this snapshot is created, we can uh, navigate to tasks here. So we do not have any uh, tasks. Okay. So here, uh, the snapshot creation is completed. Just a minute back, a couple of minutes back, see, uh, the snapshot creation is completed. Uh, so, this is a 20 GB SSD system disk. So, uh, now, uh, I'm here in EC2 dashboard. So, if you observe, do I have any AMIs here? So, no custom AMIs, no golden AMIs here. So, now, once the snapshot is created, just click here and, uh, Select this option, export to Amazon EC2. So if you want to copy this snapshot to another uh, region in light sale, you can use this option, copy to another region. And if you want to create a new instance by using this backup copy or snapshot, you can choose this option. And if you want to delete, you can choose this option. So now I'm going to select this export to Amazon EC2 option here. And um, we will export the light sale to the same region where exactly our light sale instance is running in same region we are going to get a uh, AMI. So then click on yes, continue. Now just click on acknowledge. So now immediately one task is initialized here, exporting to Amazon EC2. So what is the export status here? You can find that status. So this is still running. Once it is completed, once this task is completed. So here we are going to get a AMI so by using that AMI, we can launch an EC2 instance. So as it is a 20 GB, so it is going to take like a, a couple of minutes. So I'll pause this video for some time. So once this export operation is completed, I'll just come back here and I'm going to launch that. See here, you can find the status. So it is in pending state. So once the status is completed here, so then um, we'll see how we can launch instance by using this uh, image. Okay, so here uh, the export operation is completed. So today, March 24 at 2.02 2 p.m., we have initialized and um, 
that got completed. So just to uh, confirm that, just go here and just give a quick refresh here. And here you can find uh, the AMI is available now. Here you can observe the AMI is available. By using that AMI, we are going to launch a new EC2 instance. So I do not have any running EC2 instances here. Click on launch instance. And I'm going to select my AMIs, the WordPress backup SS, the one we created uh, here, the same name you can observe. The AMI name also same here. Then uh, an instant snapshot exported from Amazon Light Sale. You can just confirm that one too. Click on select. What configuration you required. So I'm going with 32 micro and I'm going with all the default options here and storage is 20 gigs. And uh, just click on next. And here, um, I'm going to give a tag instance from uh, light sale. Then click on next. So whatever the security group you are using. So make sure that security group is open with the uh, port number uh, 80. Why? Because HTTP uses or that uh, WordPress website by default uses this port number 80 and that is open for everyone. And port number 22 also you uh, open for everyone. Just click on review and launch. So here one question, so do you really need to associate a key pair? So no. So for this instance, whatever the instance or light sale instance we have, so this instance contain one default key pair. So if you, uh, if you observe the previous video, while launching this light sale instance, I have downloaded that uh, uh, default key pair, light sale default key here. Or however, some reasons if you don't um, download it that. So if you want to download, you can just go to, uh, you know, this main age or uh, you can just go to this uh, account and here uh, you can find SSH keys and there you can find the default key. This is a default key for Mumbai region. So just click on download and uh, just place in a location where it is accessible. So. This is a key pair we can use. So you really don't need to associate any existing key pairs at all. So I'm going to select proceed without a key pair. So again, if you want to enable later on, enable that SSH and also you can select a new key pair also. However, just click on launch instance. So now click on view instances. So here uh, one instance is provisioning and it's in pending state. So let's wait uh, till this instance status uh, change to running state. So once it state, uh, changed to running state, so if you give a minute or two, then we are going to get our uh, WordPress website by using this EC2 instance also. And again, how to get connected to this EC2 instance? So you can just convert this PEM file to PPK file and you can use PuTTY or else if OpenSSH is uh, available in your machine so you can use uh, just a simple ssh command also so this is my public ip address so i'm going to give ssh i for i light sale and what is the default username for all our other ec2 instances default username is ec2 iphone user but here the one we exported uh, from this light sale doesn't contain ec2 iphone user what is the default username so bitnami if you want to confirm that, just click on main age and here we can see this is a public IP address and the username is Bitnami. So, give Bitnami at the rate and uh, just grab the public IP address of, uh, you know, migrated one. Now. Just give that, click on enter, just give yes. And there you can see we got connected to this migrated EC2 instance. This is a Migrated EC2 instance. So here you can perform whatever the operations you want to. And let me quickly test it out. But so I'm grabbing the public IP address. Given that here. And there you can see it is delivering the website as per we configured in light sale. So this is um, how exactly you can migrate a light sale uh, uh, instance to Amazon uh, EC2. So again, once you're done with this, so make sure you terminate all the resources. Just go here, delete this uh, light sale instance, and just go here, um, deregister this AMI. Once you're done with the deregistration, 
delete the snapshot delete the snapshot and uh, you can start working with this and if you have any snapshots you can manually delete that snapshots also all right so that's it for uh, this video guys thanks for watching